okay guys welcome back so in this video I'll be talking about a bit uh, advanced concepts about logarithms now in the last video I talked to you about the basic concepts of logarithms so in this video I'll be talking about some examples uh, where basic logarithms are being used so they are sometimes uh, difficult for some students so that's my intention to uh, make it easy for you with some more examples now actually I explained to you some examples in my previous video so this will be some additional material that it will be easy for you to further understand what is meant by logarithms and uh, how to do handle logarithms when you get some question about it so I'll take some examples in this video so my first example would be something like this now if I take an example like this say one seven right plus two one nine something like this now you know that if you have now let's consider now this to be some logarithm this to be some logarithm right this to be another logarithm now if you know now you know now if now this part is a logarithm this part is a logarithm and this part is another logarithm right you can take this too I'll explain it later so you, when you have two logarithms like this you know that you have to multiply those right multiply those means take the logarithm that is inside the logarithm sign and multiply it together now first of all now you have when you have to multiply these two you have, have in the format a plus b right on a plus on b so you have on a here but you have to convert this to on 9 into the format of loan b here so what i'll do is that now you know that if you have something like this c on b you know that this is equal to on b to the power c right so this is directly from the concepts of logarithms if you have something like this if you have some coefficient uh, for the this logarithm we can say that you can directly put here to the power as a power of this value right so what I'll do first step is that I'll take this to be the same around 7 plus I can say this is equal to the second part is equal to ln 9 now this coefficient 2 will become this this power right 9 to the power 2 so this is also equal to 7 you know 9 to the power 2 is 81 now when you have solved up to this point when you have solved up to this point you know that this is in the form of this one ln a plus ln b so what you can do is that if ln a plus you get a term like if you get a term like ln a plus ln b you can directly say this is equal to ln a times b a times b so what actually happens is that now this is this is the theorem right this is the theorem so you have this equation in this format so you can directly say this is equal to uh, 7 times 81 because the values inside these are 7 and 81 and you have a positive sign here so you have to multiply this one so that is equal to uh, 81 times 7 is 756 so this is to the power e right this also equal to log e to the base 567 now i will not solve this now i will not solve this so you can solve this using some calculator or using other methods of uh, logarithmic theorems so what i'll do here is i'll terminate the value here right so that's just a simple example where logarithms come into play so let's take another example Let's take another example. Uh, I'll say something more complex. Now, actually, I will go to the concepts of logarithmic equations in the next video. So, I'll take a value like this. I'll take uh, one third and uh, twenty-seven minus right minus uh, one fourth 
one. Oh, 16 right 60 now if you have something like this what you had first do in your now you know now, now this part is a logarithm and this part is another logarithm right so there are two logarithms and they are subtracted together they are subtracted together say now this part is something like uh, log 10 to the base 2 and this part is something like log 10 to the base 5 so what you will do what you have been given, since you have been given such an equation what you have to do since you have a subtraction of two logarithms what you have to do is you have to divide now in the first part of this video i explained to you about some little while ago that when you have some addition you have to multiply so from the same concepts of logarithms you know that if you have a minus sign now you, if you subtract two logarithms you have to divide the first one so the second one from the first one first one divided by the second one all right so first of all what i have to do see that as i mentioned a little while ago if you don't have in the format ln a plus ln b or ln a minus ln b right if you don't have in this format what you have to do is we have to convert this into this format in order to apply the theorem so first of all what you have to do as i mentioned in a little while ago is that if you have some coefficient here if you have some coefficient here we have to make it a power of this value inside this logarithm so first of all what I'll do is that I'll write this one as now I'll write learn this one as 27 to the power of 1 27 1 third power minus um, 16 1 fourth power so now simple now you have some value here and you have the logarithm right logarithmic value you have some value here you have the logarithmic value here so this is the logarithmic value this is another logarithmic, logarith logarithmic value you have subtracted these two values and we have to find them so directly directly from the concepts of logarithms see what you can say is that this is equal to non this part divided by this part this part divided by this part and we have to take the log, log to the base e or log right so before uh, doing that so it's easy if you have uh, simplified more and then finally you apply the equation so what i'll do is i'll simplify this so you can write 27 as 3 to the power 3 so this is equal to 3 to the power 3 to the power 1 third minus you can write now you have 1 fourth here to cancel 1 fourth you need a power of 4 or a multiple of 4 so what I'll do we can I can easily write 16 as 2 to the power 4 so that that 4 and this 1 fourth will cancel off so I can write this one as 2 to the power 4 to the power 1 fourth so 3 to the power 3 to the power 1 third is 3 times 1 third is 1 so 3 to the power 1 is 3 so this is 1 3 minus 2 to the power 4 to the power 1 fourth is 4 times 1 fourth is 1 so 2 to the, 2 to the power 1 is also uh, is 2 so this will be log 2 so from the directly from the concepts of logarithms what I can say is that this is equal to now log 3 divided by 2 right 3 divided by 2 all down 1.5 so again i will not i will not uh, um, solve this right again i will not solve this equation along 3 by 2 along 1.5 you can solve it uh, from some calculator or from other methods right so what actually happens what is needed here is not the solution here the methods of doing this or the steps right when you are given some logarithmic function like this addition or subtraction something like that how to uh, actually solve it for a solution and then finally take the final solution right so in this video i explain to you about two easy examples in which logarithmic equation logarithmic functions right logarithmic functions are used so in the next video i'll be talking about the usage of logarithmic equations now i explained to you how to use logarithmic e equations in one of my previous videos so in the next video i'll be explaining to you about some more practical examples in which logarithmic equations are used and thanks for watching this video and see you then